Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at the first phrase in Philemon verse 1. This phrase is Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus. Let's look at the first half of that, Paul, a prisoner. Well, the Greek words behind that phrase, Paul, a prisoner, is paulos despios. Now you notice I'm using the Erasmian system of pronunciation. Paulos despios. You can see I've highlighted the Case endings as well, they're both nominative, meaning Paul is the subject of the sentence which is going to follow. Paul, a prisoner, comes from the Greek palos desmios. Okay, let's look at the second half of this phrase, Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus. Again, there are two words in Greek that give us this phrase, for Christ Jesus. Christu Yesu. Now, again, I've highlighted the endings there. They're different. In this case, they're both genitive, which is where we get the English word for being added to our translation. So, Paul, a prisoner, is Paulos Desmios. For Christ Jesus is Christu Yesu. So, if we put that all together, Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus, Paulos Desmios, Christu Yesu. Let's read through that just a couple of times. Paul, a prisoner. Paulos Desmios, for Christ Jesus, Christu Yesu. Okay, say it with me. Paul, a prisoner, Paulos Desmios, for Christ Jesus, Christu Yesu. Let's say the whole thing together. Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus, Paulos Desmios, Christu Yesu. And one more time. Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus, Paulos Desmios. Christu Yesu. Now, you might want to go through that a few more times. We are going to review this at the end once we've done all of the verse 1. We'll review them all together as well. But in the next video, we'll look at the second phrase in verse 1.